Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube creative studio. You know me, one of my favorite things is to make crochet flowers. Not only they are beautiful and delicate and just full of wonderful color and scent, but they also hold special meaning for different people and occasions. Feel free to use this video tutorial to make red poppies to wear for yourself or for your friends and families to wear for Remembrance Day or Veterans Day. The instructions and notes to this project are available in the box below this video and the pattern is available at my website. We will start with a magic ring and then chain one. Don't count this chain as a stitch. Then work a half double crochet in a magic ring. All together eight half double crochets into the magic ring. This poppy is worked from the center outwards. First we will make the center circle. It's perfect to use green or yellow color. Then we will create these diamonds and then the petals. I will show you everything step by step. Now let's close around with a slip stitch placed into the first chain from the very beginning. Perfect. Now the first round is finished and also we finished with this um, color for this part. So you can cut the yarn and fasten off or I will show you how to join the different color. We will use the black yarn or dark violet yarn or you can use very dark blue yarn. It's up to you. It's perfect to use up your uh, any thread yarns, any scrappy yarn. So now pull yarn through both loops on your hook and continue crocheting chain one. And now I will work next round in back loops only. So this is the back loop and work a single crochet then chain four, still work into the same stitch, a single crochet, then chain four, four and single crochet still into the same stitch. So we created two picots and work in the back loop again. So this is the V stitch. And insert your hook into the V and work in back loop. One single crochet, chain four, one single crochet into the same stitch, chain four, and one single crochet still into the same stitch. Again, we created two picots. And we will create two picots into each stitch around. Still work in back loop. So this is V and work into back loop. One single crochet, chain four, one single crochet, chain four, And one single crochet. Again we created two picots into the same stitch. And repeat these instructions all around. So you will create two picots into each stitch. Still work in a back loop only. And we will have 16 picots in this round. We started first round with eight double crochets. Now we work 
two picots into each double crochet from the previous round. So we will finish with 16 picots. Let me finish the round. So chain four and one single crochet. Chain four and one single crochet. And finish the round with a slip stitch. Perfect. Look at my work. So we just created the center of my red poppy and the stamens. Love it. Super cute. You can cut yarn of all ends and fasten them in. So this will be the front side of my project and this is the back side. And I will create the petals into these loops from the previous round and I will work in a rows in this part. So make a slip knot, pull this knot in any of um, front loop of double crochet from the previous round and chain three. Then add three more double crochets into the same stitch. Now we are working in the front loop of the double crochet from the uh, first round. Now I will count rows from the beginning. So for me now it's row number one. In the next stitch Place four double crochet one, two, three, and four. Still work in front loop only into the front loop of the half double crochet from the first round. And this is the base for my first petal. I will add three more petals later on and each petal starts with eight double crochets. Now chain three, which is my first double crochet, then your work and work a double crochet into next stitch. We have two double crochets already. Now work two double crochets in the next four stitches. So we will make increase in the next four stitches. One double crochet and two. Then one double crochet into next stitch and two in the same stitch. One into next stitch and one more into the same stitch and last increase in next stitch. One double crochet and one more into the same stitch. There are two stitches left. So I will place a double crochet in each of them. So one and two. So in this second row, you will have 12 double crochet stitches. So we add four double crochets. In the first row, we have eight double crochets. 
in this row we have 12 now. Let's start row number 3. Chain 3 as the first double crochet, then you'll work. And work a double crochet in the next 2 stitches. 1, and 1 in next stitch. Then work 2 double crochet in next stitch. So we do increase in next stitch. 1 and 2. Then work only 1 double crochet in the next stitch. 1. Perfect. And now we are in the middle of my project on this row and I will do increase in both stitches 1 and 2 and into next again 2 double crochets 1 and 2 perfect then work one double crochet in next stitch. Then do the increase into next stitch. So work two double crochet in it. One and two. And look at my work. There are three stitches left. So work a double crochet in each of them. One, two, and three. Now we have 16 stitches in this row. There is increase by four double crochets. So we have 16 double crochets in this third row. Super, look at it. Row number four. Chain one and then work a single crochet in next three stitches. Don't count chain one as a stitch, okay? So one single crochet, two and three. So there are three single crochets. Then work a half double crochet in next 10 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I will work a half double crochet in next 10 stitches. I will speed it up. <laughs> so 10 half double crochets till there are 3 stitches left. Perfect. There are one, two, three stitches, and I will work a single crochet into each. So one single crochet, one, two, and three into the last stitch. Super. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the front side. You can see how it's shaping nicely. Now, row number five, chain one and slip stitch into the next stitch and then work a single crochet in next three stitches. One, two and three then I will work a half double crochet in next three stitches one two and three then I will work two half double crochet in next two stitches so this is the center uh, the middle point of the 
row, so I will work one and two half double crochet in the same stitch and again two half double crochet in next stitch one and two then again work three half double crochet one two three okay so in next three stitches work one two and three in next three stitches work a single crochet one single crochet two and three and finish with a slip stitch into the last stitch okay slip stitch not <laughs> a single crochet okay this is it slip stitch super and this is the first petal i love it now you can make the last row with slip stitches only so you can work a slip stitch into each stitch so you will have six slip stitches in this last row it's just for decoration to create a nice border of the petal so there is no such increase we will just create a nice border with slip stitching i like to make it okay so slip stitch into each stitch no increase and we are just about to finish the first petal I'm so happy how it's shaping look at this here we are it's perfect isn't it so I finished the first petal look at it this is the back side and I will add three more petals so you can cut the end and I'll show you how to fasten off quickly so use the sewing needle work on the back side on the wrong side and insert the needle into the single crochet at the beginning of this row and pull through insert the needle into the next stitch and go up from down to top and then back up and down three or four times make sure you don't go with your needle into the front side we can cut the end and that's it and you can repeat these instructions for any of the uh, end of your project make sure that these um, green ends used for the first round firstly pull through them into the back side okay i'll show you just to be sure okay so pull the end through the uh, first round stitches to the side or wrong side and then fasten off as you already know so pull the yarn through half double crochet stitches created in the first round up and down several times 
and this is it super now it's perfectly hidden and I repeat these instructions for the second and second green and as well of course you can fasten uh, both uh, black ends as well and now we will create the second petal actually you can uh, work in any of uh, the stitch but I will start on the opposite side with my second petal opposite side to the first petal okay so I will work in two half double crochets again and I will start with a slip knot pull this knot through the front loop of half double crochet from the first round and chain three chain three counts as my first double crochet then add three more three more double crochets into the same stitch work in front loop as always you already know and into the next stitch at four double crochets again so in the first row you will have eight double crochets this is it and feel free to repeat the instructions I already show you for the first petal okay so repeat row 2 till 6 to create the second petal on the opposite side of the first petal this is it I just finished the second one it's cute isn't it <laughs> so cut the yarn pull yarn through the last loop this is it so now they are um, two half double crochets on one side and the two half double crochet on the opposite side into the circle and I will create the third and the fourth petal between the petals I already made to start with chain 3 and my first double crochets to work in front loop and add 3 more double crochets into the same stitch so there will be 4 double crochet in one stitch and again work four double crochet into next stitch so the instructions for petals are the same the petals have the same size and they have um, the same shape so they are the there will be four same I just finished petals so this is it I just finished eight double crochets in the first row and you can just repeat the instruction to finish the petal as I made okay I just finished this third one and let's make the last one the fourth petal there are two stitches left in the first round so make a slip knot and work in a front loop 
make um, three chains at the beginning as the first double crochet and then add three more double crochets into the same stitch two three and four perfect and in next stitch four double crochet as well one two three four so this is the first row the second one chain three then your work okay I will show you the instructions once again then work a double crochet in next stage and in next stitch we will make a increase so two double crochet in next stitch one and two and I will make a increase in next three stitches as well so two double crochet in one stitch from the previous row Till there are two stitches left and I will work one double crochet in each of them so we will have 12 double crochets in this second row so we will increase by two okay there are two stitches the end so one double crochet and two super so I have 12 double crochets in this second round now chain three this is my first double crochet then your work I will work a double crochet in next two stitches one and two then two double crochet in next stitch one and two in the same stitch then a double crochet in next stage and we are going to be in the middle of the row and I will work two double crochet in next two stitches one two and again two double crochet in the next stage super then work a double crochet in next stage and again two double crochets in next stage perfect and there are three stitches left so work a double crochet in each of them so there is increase by four double crochets again so in this row I have 16 double crochets chain one then you will work now I will work a single crochet in next three stitches don't count the, sing the chain one at the beginning as a stitch so one single crochet in first three stitches then work a half double crochet in next ten stitches I guess you already know the pattern so just let me repeat it so a half double crochet in next 10 stitches I will speed it up <laughs> so 
pair so till there are three stitches left and then work a single crochet in each stitch one two three single crochets super chain one and slip stitch then a single crochet in next three stitches then a half double crochet in next three stitches one two three okay one two and three in two middle stitches work two half double crochets one and two in the same stitch and again two half double crochet in next stitch one and two perfect then a half double crochet in next three stitches one two and three perfect then a single crochet in next three stitches one two and three and finish with a slip stitch place in the last stitch this is it then you work and work a slip stitch in each stitch in this last row this is just for decoration as I love the border with slip stitching and this is it we are about to finish the fourth petal so we are almost done super nicely shaped doesn't it cut the yarn fasten off super yeah let me do a measurement this is um 13 centimeters which is 5 inches long and the petal one petal has 3.5 inches 9 centimeters the long part and the high is uh, 1.8 inches four and a half centimeters yeah so wave in all ends as I just did a look at my work wow <laughs> and I will show you it's up to you if you want to add um, two um, leaves or two chains so you can use these two or strings um, to add the red poppy on any other project so make a slip knot and pull this knot through the any half double crochet from the previous round and then chain 35 chains or more or less it's absolutely up to you how long you want to have this chain long and then work two single crochet stitches in each chain along so one single crochet and two 
so two single crochet in each chain along so we are going back to the center of the red popping and work two single crochets in each chain okay two single crochet in each stitch and you will see in a while how nicely this in these instructions they will make a nice spiral okay look at it yeah super so you can use this spiral string to add uh, the red poppy of any project you can add it to pin for example or so so I will create the second string as well so chain 35 chains the starting chain and then once you have the starting chain foundation chain finish with 35 chains go back with two single crochets in each chain okay this is it I just finished the second string or second leaf <laughs> up to you <laughs> okay so you can add uh, third or fourth string as well or finish with a slip stitch okay look at my work I love it <laughs> I know there are many patterns for red poppy but I think this one is it's perfectly realistic isn't it okay, just let me measure this string so the spiral has 4 inches 10 centimeters okay so if you want to make it longer just add more chains at the beginning and this is the end of my video guy my crochet friends you already know how to crochet this lovely red poppy and as the red poppy is a symbol of uh, war veterans you can make it for remembrance day or veterans day or sell it for the charity project for these days so thank you very much for watching if you like this video guide give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe my channel take care and bye for now